Oh my gosh, if you could see what my what my camera is on right now, you would die. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture so I can post. Like, my tripod is in Rumi's room because Sandra has access to the outlet and we only put the outlet on when Sandra's here and the outlet screws into the tripod of my camera so it sits on her dresser so she can keep an eye on her while she's napping. Um, I need to get another one though. This is unacceptable and irresponsible. Showered, got ready for the day. Actually, I haven't gotten ready for the day. I'm getting ready for the day. I just have a lot of work to do today. I filmed yesterday, so I've got a little bit of editing and I need to box up some after iris orders and take them to get shipped out before the weekend. Finally restocked my SkinCeuticals, the CE Frulic Acid and the AJ Intensifier. These two products along with Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream and the Pro Collagen Cleanser are my just top skincare products that I've been using for years. And the SkinCeuticals is pretty expensive. Like whenever I run out, I cry. Sherm store always has a code, like a 15% off promo for SkinCeuticals. They literally have one every few weeks. So I always wait until I can get a code. Last week, I actually, oh, what was it? It was. It wasn't Derm Store. Where did I get this? I can't remember, but they had a 20% off and I was like, oh my God. Still getting over this cold. Well, it's only been a couple of days since I ended the last vlog. Um, my nose is still stopped up. My throat's fine. I'm like, I'm fine other than. Got the um, Alpha Parf anti-breakage fluid. Just restocked this. And then the Color Wow now comes in extra strength. This is my first time using this. I just ran out of my other one, and so I'm using the extra strength. We will see how extra strength it is. Then I'm using the, I guess K18 is my newest product. Um, it's kind of replaced my Olaplex. I still love Olaplex, but I just think K18 is just so, so good. There's another product I want that Bianca recommended to me last time I was with her. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but I will link it below. She said it's like the best product she's ever used. So I'm gonna order some of that. I trust. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry my hair, get ready, and then get on. Get a moving. Get a move on. And I would go back to the winter in the springtime. Got a few new pieces from Suzanne that I want to try on um for fall i love their spring and summer pieces they're always just so beautiful and so unique but i like live for their fall pieces it's honestly like my favorite season to shop suzanne so i'm gonna try on these pieces i'll actually probably like outfit them a little bit so you can see what they look like on and also style all right this is the first piece this is a floral quilted skirt and it's got it's just like a wrap skirt so it's got a little bit of a slit and the material is so nice it's textured it's thick um you can kind of get an idea right here but perfect for fall if you're looking for thick pieces but also want to add some color and then i grabbed this sweater as well it's got these button details on the side um, and just like a really good basic piece. And I grabbed the matching vest and I'm so bummed because it actually comes with a matching top as well, but they sold out in my size. So I'm on the hunt for a restock of that, but I probably wouldn't style it with this sweater. I'd probably do like more of a silk, like a lighter weight blouse or just a simple cropped um, underneath so I could just keep it sleeveless but still have like a layered look. Next I got, let me turn the brightness down just a tad so you can see the color. Next I got this sweater and um, I like to wear it just kind of closed as a top versus open as a cardigan but you can tuck it in in the front and do kind of like a slouched front tuck or I think it looks really nice out because it's it's not cropped but it's also not long it's like that perfect kind of mid-length kind of boxy to where you get you know more of like an oversized um, but still kind of polished look so I love the cut and silhouette of this cardigan here is the 
color and texture up close. Start it with a shorter black knit skirt and some brown ankle boots. And then this is my favorite piece. I clicked add to cart as soon as I saw it. I didn't even like scroll to look at all the photos. I just immediately clicked. This is so cute. It's a cape and it's this really like I love the color combination. It's got olive green, it's got navy, it's got cream. It's just like the perfect lighter weight outerwear for fall when it's not super cold but you still want to be layered and it's gonna hook. such a good classic piece that you'll have every single year never gonna go out of style just like a really good classic Keep the camera on the tripod so you can see it a little bit better um get like kind of a full body view and then i got two bags now that i have roomy i am it's really hard to carry my smaller bags um, because I need just way more stuff than I used to. So I've been into bigger bags recently and um, I have a couple of bigger black bags. So I grabbed this really pretty kind of sand colored bag. Um, it's just a simple tote, no hardware, just super, super soft leather. Um, so I thought this was so perfect for kind of everyday Kind of goes with everything goes with blacks browns grays um so i have gotten actually a ton of use out of this one take this off because it's hard to put bags on my shoulder and this brown is like the perfect color brown to go with the blacks as well so it's really good mix and match it's not like neutral or cream specific you can also wear it with everything from this suzanne partnership in the description box i completely forgot about this plaid set because it was on another rolling rack because I was filming. I put it in a, a style video. It wasn't with all my other stuff. So this set is hands down my favorite. Oh my gosh, the color combo, the fit, the style, everything. Um, here is the skirt. It's a quilted mini skirt. And here is the jacket. But I love that you can wear it together. You can wear them as separates. Um, just like I love the plaid look I don't own a ton of plaid so I thought this was like okay I'm gonna just grab a couple of plaid things this season that was one of them and I'm so happy with the pieces Or cheese. She also only likes to eat from a big fork. Well, that's big girl stuff. Makes me nervous. Potato? Hi! Ha. Hi! Say hello. And potato? Hi. No. Okay. Our two favorite things. Uh, you find some cheese in your lap? How about we eat some blueberries? Let's eat some blueberries. Yeah. That's a big stack of flavor. And there's some in the sink. I mean, in that bowl. <laughs> we got three cartons. That's what we needed. Oh, we go through them. I am going to take Rumi's party decorations down this weekend. Um, but I wanted to share this sweatshirt that I just got. Hey, do you mind? Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right, these are the best men's crew neck sweatshirts. I get them every year, but this year they had this really pretty cream color that I bought in store and a brown color that I saw online that I'm about to get because it's so pretty. Um, I don't know what size I get. Let me check the size and I will post the link and my size on the next slide. <laughs> I'm running to the post office to drop off 
about 20, not 20, like 10 to 12 after hours orders that came in yesterday. And what else, what else? I need to stop by Nordstrom. I got her a pair of sneakers for her birthday, but there's like a blue stain on the side of them. I'm not sure. It, it looks like, um, like a denim transfer onto leather which is really weird so I'm gonna go exchange those and I think I'm gonna run by the car wash and vacuum out the back because for her birthday we uh, bought a ton of flowers I did all the flowers myself and obviously like it was baby's breath so they shed all over the place so I'm just gonna vacuum really quickly I wish I was one of those people that could have just like a messy car even just for like a few days even just for like a week or I don't know just have like an unmade bed or clothes laying out I can't I just it's almost to a fault that I have to clean it up immediately or I just can't focus and it like it gets in the way of my day and like things that I have to do and I truly wish I wasn't like that but the fact that the car has been dirty for I don't know like five days now like I think about it every day the reason I haven't gone to the car wash is because it's been raining pretty much every day so I was like there's no point but I'm annoying for her birthday my grandmother got her the next like the her big girl car seat I guess you could say the Nuna Raba she's been using the Nuna Pippa light and we've loved it but it's time for the switch so we're probably going to install that this weekend because I think there's a separate base and stuff that goes with it. Alright, I'm about to get out of my neighborhood though and get on a busy road, so... All of a sudden, forget how to turn my windshield wipers off and how to put my car in neutral. I think I panic because the car, the car wash guys like you know making all these signals and I'm like Whoa. kind of embarrassing. start liking a song I don't stop listening to it okay. I got the shoes I'm about to go to Nordstrom my battery's on 2% but I got her these little Nike sneakers they're so cute but Sandra's worried that they're too heavy for her so now I'm like uh, maybe I should just exchange them for an outfit until she's like walking and I don't know now I'm second guessing it I think I'm just gonna exchange them for some clothes post office and then home I was looking for a nude liner I was in between Mac Whirl and the Charlotte Tilbury um, what's it called iconic nude the Mac Whirl had more warm tones and this had cooler tones so I went ahead and grabbed this one Let's see I like my pillow talk it's probably like one of my favorite colors but for fall it's just like I don't know a little too pink. I was looking for something a little more nude, so I want to test out this lip liner, and then I really need to put my camera on the charger, but I want to see what it looks like. I have a lot of color on my lips right now from the pillow talk, but let me just put this on top and see what it looks like. Okay, 
I wonder if you can see it. It's pulling orange. Let me take a photo and I'll see if that pulls the color a little bit more accurate and then I can post it. I really like it. Okay, I think this will be my um, replacement for Pillow Talk for fall. I'm gonna let my camera charge while I go edit a few things and um, I will probably pick back up around dinner time. Can you clap? Whoa! That's what's clapping. Oh, Whoa. oh, you got it. Whoa. Oh. Um. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going, Stumbles? <laughs> I don't think she knows. Oh, girl. Whoa. Don't fall down. <laughs> Clap those hands. She no. has to stand up to do it. Clap. Clap, clap, clap. Whoa! Rue, clap, 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 clap. Hi. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> See you later. Where are you going? See you later. You want some water? And I would go back to the winter in the springtime. Rumi. Hey, baby. Rue. Hi. We going on our after dinner walk. Very happy after dinner walk. She is. We just had traumatic events take place. We were sitting at the dinner table. I was setting the camera up and I saw Winnie and Stella like scrambling like all over the back porch. And then I heard and I yelled at Ryan it's like snake because we just had a rattlesnake on our driveway a few weeks ago. So I yelled snake, Ryan runs. And then I see this baby squirrel. He wasn't a baby. And he was like a medium sized. <clears throat> yes, he was a medium sized squirrel. And run to the porch. Winnie gets it in it, her mouth. I'm screaming. Run outside. Winnie drops it, but it's hurt really bad. We take Winnie inside. Stella gets it in her mouth, which I did not think she was going to do that. And then it stopped moving and it was barely breathing, and then it died. Yeah. Like, it makes me like, sick to my stomach. His mama probably was just <coughs> watching the whole thing. No, I don't think so. I think his mama was probably far, far away somewhere else because this was a, like a, Probably a teenage squirrel. Why do you have to be like that though? Like, why can't you just be like, yeah, it was sad, he was a little squirrel, and like, it's okay that you're sad about it. Like, we saw it. Why are you laughing now? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm a bad guy for some reason. Just have like, I don't know, just say it's okay. That you're sad and That's I'm exactly sad what too. I, and say you're sad. I, I'm not sad. Say you're sad, Ryan. I, I'm not sad that Mother Nature happened. Like, the squirrel it was sick. Like, it had been falling out of a tree when he grabbed it. Why are you making up a diagnosis? <clears throat> Why are you saying he was sick and then he... Was he sick or did he fall out of a tree? Like, Pretty sure he fell out of a tree because he was sick. Because Winnie didn't catch a squirrel. Oh, 
mad at Winnie and Stella. I can't even look at them right now. Can you? And I want you to be sad. <laughs> if there's anyone else's husband that's watching, can you just relate relate with me real quick about the wife making you feel bad because you don't actually feel bad? <laughs> and his, his little eyes were closed and he was barely breathing. He was probably in so much pain and you don't feel like... You're, are you a sociopath? You don't feel one bit of like... sad? If I had to choose between him dying or not, I would choose no. I don't want him to die. Oh, thank God. Like, that, that's how mean? I feel about it. Well, all, really the, thought... all the birds that have flown into our window and died that I've had to pick up, that you've just been like, oh, a bird flew in the window. Like, that's happened. All the car, the times we drive by a deer in the road, and yeah, we just I'm drive sad. by. And I'm sad. Yeah, and we don't, we don't spend forever talking about it. We just drive by. But it's the fact that I saw it die. Yeah, I you, saw you it. You didn't see I it, though. You saw, our, you saw our dogs try to grab it. The reason I went to the... The reason I went out to the porch is because I heard the little squirrel screaming. Like, and then, I'll tell you something, that's the same thing that happened to my rabbit, Cloud Carrot. That's the same thing that happened to Cloud Carrot. Your rabbit's name was Cloud Carrot? Ryan. Here's. Hello. It's for you. Let me just tell Thanks. you. Thanks. Carrot ran away, and then a few days later, I was. Even Rumi's like, hey, Cloud Carrot's not the best name. Cloud Carrot ran away. A few days later, I was watching TV at night, and I heard this screaming, terrible screaming, outside. And so I looked out the window, and there was, there was a dog carrying Cloud Carrot by the neck across the street. I went and rescued Cloud Carrot from the dog. You fought a dog? No, the dog dropped it when I went outside and started yelling. Brought Cloud Carrot inside. He was very hurt. The vet, I couldn't get a hold of the vet. Tried to go to the emergency clinic. Nothing. The next morning, I was packing up, getting ready to go to the vet, and he started, like, convulsing and just died right there in front of me. It was awful. And that's just, that brought me back to... Well, that does sound awful. Yes, it was awful. I hate that happened to you. So you feel bad? For for you and Cloud Carrot, your actual pet, but not for the wild squirrel. We aren't, we're gonna have to agree to disagree, and honestly, like I can't even look at you right now. <laughs> this is a nice but, five minute story. It's not a story, Ryan. It happened. <laughs> Stories are with things that happen. If only all cell cell phones were as tough as the VTech violet Real. phone from Walmart. <laughs> No, I didn't even get to enjoy my my Zevia on this walk. Because you're a sociopath or? No. Because literally... <laughs> because you didn't enjoy it's empty. <laughs> well, it's almost empty. The carbonation was gone a long time ago. How's that my fault? <clears throat> That's a tip for everybody that likes Zevia. If you walk outside with it, the oh. air getting into it, it, it ruins the taste. I thought you were trying to blame me. Well, no, it is still your fault. How? Because I had to sit here explain to you why the rabbit squirrel wasn't a big deal. <laughs> You're a literal, you're a serial killer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you have like, like there's no Don't way you think you'd be dead by now if I was a serial killer? No, like, I think, no, serial kill like Dexter. Oh, so I'm a good serial killer. No, I take that back. No, you're like, <laughs> you're just a regular serial killer. Oh, so you should be dead by now. No. Zero killers don't kill. They kill oh, random people. Oh, they don't they, kill. They, their... don't, they don't kill, but they kill. They don't. No, they don't kill their families and the people that are closest to them. You dumb. True. Take tear. Take your. Hey, why don't you finish power washing the driveway? Actually. <laughs> Wait. Can you just tell a story? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I power washed our driveway and I got to about. Now I know it's hard to tell, but I got to about here, <laughs> and my hose broke. Yeah, she blew the hose. Ew. I like how you're, there's always like one sip left. He's like, hey, you want the rest of this? And I'm like, thanks, but nothing. <laughs> I'll pass. Two, three, 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 four. Happy. Mm. Happy. No. Da, 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 Why you say da, da? Da, 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 da. 
All right, shower time. Say night night. Night night. <clears throat> Can you say I gotta go take a bath? Night night. Can you say? Can you kiss your mommy. You gotta go take a bath. Give mama kisses. Wah 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 wah. Okay. Dark, dark, dark. Did you have lots of yogurt for dinner? Yeah. Okay. Those are big laughs. Wow. <laughs> I don't think she's ever been obsessed with another toy as much as she is this little thing. No. Ready for hairbrush? Let's go brush our hair. Yay! Beautiful. How'd she do? <laughs> She's tired. <clears throat> she was very fidgety. Was she? She did not want to have the ball right away. Why? Were you watching when I put her down? Mm-mm. I picked her up and she was dead weight. As soon as I started going down, it rolls right out of my arms into the bed. Stop. She fell? Like from a half an inch. <laughs> I, was, I was like crossing my fingers. That she didn't wake up? Yeah. I'm gonna look on the camera really quick. Hold out of your arms though. Yeah. She really did. I saw that. Remember that time you dropped her? No. Oh god. Hey, look, it's freaking. Oh, it doesn't want to show. It's 8:30, so let's go. I've been drifting out high up in the clouds, right?